Hi friends, uh, I am Praveen Raut, uh, and today I will be explaining a project which I have personally created uh, while I was attempting Databricks Associate uh, Certification for Data Engineering track. Uh, so as part of the certifications, uh, I have tried to cover as many as possible scenarios uh, which we get in exam. And to do this project, uh, what I have did is I have used a uh, data set which is available on Cricksheet. So I have used IPL data set. So if you go to cricksheet.org downloads, uh, you can see all the data in JSON and YAML files. And uh, this data is for all the cricket happening all over the world. Also, it is storing at bike club competition level. So we are using India Premier League as a competition. So you can see like we have 950 uh, files. So there is a separate for women and men. And uh, right now, there is only for men's uh, data uh, because only men's are playing cricket uh, IPL. Uh, so we would be downloading this JSON files data. And then probably we will see uh, once we download, we get this 950 or JSON file and one readme file. Uh, so once these files are available, you just need to analyze them. Uh, so for analyzing these files, uh, let me show you the structure of this file. So the structure of these files look like this. Uh, so these are the meta information along with info. So this info tag uh, is at like, uh, there are basically two tags which we need to pass, uh, info and innings. So in info, it is uh, like all the information at match level. Okay, so like balls per, where is the match played, uh, when the match was played, the match number, the gender, and then match referee, TV umpires, how the outcome, like was it by wickets or by runs? And similarly, uh, which all 11 players were playing this match. And along with registry, uh, here we have all the information about the players uh, with assigned. Similarly, and the season of the match and the club type. So this is at uh, match level. Similarly, we have at data at innings level. So in innings level data, we have a team and then overs, the, all the 20 overs data with at ball level detail. So like who, who was the batter, who was the baller, who was a non-striker and how many runs were scored. So all this kind of information, suppose it is four or uh, it would be boundary. Similarly, if there is a wicket as well, uh, then also that data gets stored in the wicket section. Here you get like uh, how was the wicket rate run out and who was the player and who were the player involved in that run out. Uh, so fielders involved. So you get this kind of data as well. So this is for one file, uh, one match, and for another match here is just it is the same data set. Uh, just to notice that uh, this data set has plus some challenges, and the challenges are uh, if you see JSON data as always store data in key value pairs. So keys are in like orange color and like data is in black color font. Uh, so if you see like player of the match is fine because it would be constant across all the JSON file. But this Kings 11 Punjab, this is the key. And it cannot be like key for all the files. It will be for few files where Kings 11 Punjab would be playing. Uh, but if you see in the other file, the key got changed with a different team. So we need to handle this kind of scenarios uh, while using the streaming, Spark streaming, which we would be using. Another thing is like, if you see the outcome here, it was by runs. And here it was by wickets. So there are a few structure changes happening. Uh, just one more example on this. If it is an event is a match number, it is 14 here in this file. And this file, it would be like at stage level. So it's qualifier one or a final. So this kind of scenarios you need to handle uh, when you will be passing this file. All this we will be doing uh, in the coming videos. Yeah, but for now we can uh, close this and let's meet.